Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to continue our cross-site scripting practicals with some of the case scenarios. So this time I would log in with my username admin and password admin in the DVWA. We are in the level low right now. And then I would go to the cross-site scripting stored. And this time we are going to steal the cookies of the different users. Because if we post such type of a script in between the DVWA stored, every time anyone comes up to this page, he would see a pop-up of his own cookie. But what I want is that he should not see any pop-up of his own cookie. Whenever he comes up, the script would take his cookies and just send to our Kali Linux. So for that one as well, we have created a script like this way in which I have just given the IP address of the Kali Linux. So why I am showing you a different case scenario is because cross-site scripting is a very small attack. It's not as big same as, as the SQL injections in which we have covered so many different types of like double query, like blind. So it's just a play with the scripts. Sometimes students underestimate the power of the cross-site scripting. They think that it's just a simple uh, attack through which we could, you know, give and generate some type of errors or pop-ups. So as I keep on repeating it again, again and again, so it's not limited to perform some specific things. We can do thousands of things. It depends upon the what type of script you are using to inject in the DVWA. So, so now let's post, I would say hello. And here uh, we have our script, which I will copy, which would steal the cookies and send it to the Kali Linux. We have to increase the length first of all, which is, uh, I can make it maybe 200 character, paste and submit. Our listener is not ready. So we also have to start our listener. So if anyone comes back, to the cross-site scripting stored page, like this way, I come back and the cookies would be sent of that person to the Kali Linux. So this is the session ID, as you can see. So now what we can do is we can open our Firefox and we have to go to the Windows 7 IP address. and access the DVWA IP config. It's 179.129. And we are posted on the login page, but we do not have any username and the password. So one thing what we need to install is, we go to add-ons and we have to install the cookie manager. Add to Firefox. Okay. And the cookie editor is here. So we go to our login page of the DVWA, but we do not have a username and password. We go to our cookie editor, session ID. And here is the area where we can, security level is impossible. I'll make it low. And here, I will delete it and copy the cookie. And security level to low. And save it. Save this one too. Now you delete the login.php and just up to DVWA, press enter and we are logged in as admin. So this is how we could also steal the cookies of the users through a cross-site scripting stored based scripts. Sometimes we browse the internet in the Kali Linux to install some of the specific add-ons or to visit some of the specific websites and it show us some type of errors related to HTTPS. I don't know why the Kali Linux people do not fix it, but let me show you how we can fix this error if you face such thing. So you can go to about colon config 
and uh, this is the configure of the Firefox and you have to search for SSL and if you scroll down this would be the thing SSL enable OSCP stapling which is true enabled I double click and it becomes false that's it so now if you go to some specific websites or even with the HTTPS ones there will be no error you can browse them simply so I hope you liked this case study with a different script and thank you for watching